everyone, Justin here, and in this video I'm going to cover over the options that you can set in WinUsoft and WinUPro. So let's start off with WinUsoft again. In WinUsoft you can change the options for the program itself by clicking on this little cog window. We have the auto startup ability which will have WinUsoft startup every time you boot Windows. You can choose to have it start minimized so every time you load the software it will mi be minimized to the tray. As you can see if I minimize it here, it appears down on the tray. You can also have the auto refresh enabled so whenever a controller is not connected it will continuously refresh to look for more controllers. This is useful if you have a controller set to automatically connect. We have greedy mode which in the current version of Windows that I'm using, which is the latest, it will not work. Um, it will just actually appear to not do anything. But what this does in previous versions of Windows, including previous versions of builds of Windows 10, which are kind of hard to get a, a hold of, um, it will hide the instance of the Nintendo controller from Windows so that, and other applications so that other applications don't try to look for it. This is what has been called the Dark Souls fix. Um, so when you try to play Dark Souls with this, sometimes Dark Souls will actually find the controller input and instead of the uh, emulated Xbox 360 input, making rendering everything useless. Uh, Microsoft Bluetooth, just uncheck this if you're using the Toshiba stack. And then you can set a default calibration to be loaded for each controller that you um, connect. I'll get into calibrations in a different video. Each controller has their own set of properties, including the device nickname, which you can change to anything here. Um, if you want it to auto-connect to which Xbox controller or whatever is first available, you can load a default profile. Clicking these buttons will have you select the file. You can change the rumble intensity or disable it altogether. Uh, the default calibrations, which I will go over uh, how to set these in another video. And the IR pointer behavior when you're using a Wii remote. Um, so when your pointer goes off screen, you can choose to either return the input to center or continue the X axis um, input or continue the Y or snap to both. Now let's take a look at the options available in WinU Pro. When you put the settings are just inside this box here. We also have the auto start ability for this. Start minimize has not yet been implemented. We have the use exclusive mode, which is the same thing as the greedy mode. We have use Toshiba mode, which if you're using Toshiba stack, just check that. And then we have this hide connection errors option. Whenever your controller is disconnected, a little pop-up dialog will display saying that the controller connection was lost. If you have this box checked, that will simply prevent those from appearing. And then in order to look at the controller options, you need to connect your controller, choose the options button up here, and we can change the nickname in this box. We can set it to auto connect with this checkbox. We can set it to load a default profile using this button to specify the file, and then default calibrations will appear here, and we can delete those from here if we want to remove that. Also, your controller's um, unique device addresses, paste it up here if you ever need to reference that. If you ever need to edit any of these settings by hand, you can always look in the executables file location. And when you pro, it stores it in a subfolder called config. The press is the configuration for um, the application itself. And these other pref files are for the controllers themselves. They're all based on controller ID. That's where being able to view that controller ID comes in handy. So if you edit this, it's actually in JSON format. As you can see here, and you can change these settings by hand by setting these to true or false. Um, just be careful when editing these because if you make a mistake, you might cause the program to crash. Here also has the known devices, and that's how it knows how to load up these files. In these preferences files, these are also in JSON format with the device ID, uh, default profile, nickname, all that stuff. 
when you soft, they're also stored next to the executable. Unless you've installed the program through a, uh, an installer, then sometimes they won't appear in this location. But both will actually appear in your app data location. So you can get there by using that shortcut. Then at the bottom, you'll have the when you soft press config. These are actually stored in an older type of format, which is um, XML actually. So it's a little harder to decipher and everything's stored in one place. For WinU Pro, if you don't see the config folder in next to the executable, you will find it in here. It's uh, It should be named WinU Pro config or something similar like that. And so those are the options that each controller, or so, excuse me, each application offers right now. Again, if you run into any issues or have any questions, please look on the forums to get help. And if you can't find an answer to your question, go ahead and post your question and either I or somebody else will gladly answer it for you. Thank you.